What is up, wrestling figure family? It is WF Wrestling Figure Entertainment here with a new video for you guys. Before I start this video, I'm just going to say that there's probably going to be a lot of background noise because my mom is currently watching my nieces right now. So, yeah, don't worry about that. And also, before I start this video, I'm just going to say that at 50 subscribers, I'm going to be revealing my frog and what this place was in my last video. Also, about my last video, somebody actually slept dislike on it. <laughs> that really hurt. And now I'm going to come for you. I don't know who you are. But when I do find out who you are, I'm going to come to your house and eat the last slice of pizza. But this video is going to be an Elite 77 The Fiend Bray Wyatt review. Let's get into it. But I'm probably actually going to lower my camera a bit. So, yeah, see you then. So as you can see, I've lowered my camera. And eventually I'm going to have to figure out something better than this. Because I hate having to slouch over anything. I'm doing something down low on my table. But let's just slap into it. So... First, we're going to start off with the packaging in the front view. In the front view, we can see the Fiend and his accessories. Um, got Fiend, Bray Wyatt. On the side, we have a picture of the Fiend. On the back, we have a picture of the Fiend. And then a biography, which is going to be backwards, I think. But if you want to read it, I guess you can pause the video there and then figure it out by yourself. There's another picture of the fiend. And then back to where we started. And let's crack him open. So as you can see, the fiend is out of his packaging and he is looking just fine. Um, I'm going to go over um, how he looks, then the articulation, and then some elite figure comparisons. So, first of all, with um, how he looks, I'm going to start with the head scan, which looks very good, especially with the True Effects technology. But I do think his face is a little bit misprinted. Oh, it's not terribly noticeable. I, I don't think my camera will probably be able to pick it up. It's pro my camera isn't that good. But, um, yep, it's got the rubber hair dreadlocks that he has um beautiful tattoo work like the camera ain't gonna be able to pick up all the nice details but just by what you can see you can tell it's pretty good and you got the back other arm some stuff on the front he is looking awesome i believe that this is a new torso mold but i'm not sure but it, and it looks pretty good. It's pretty accurate to the Fiend. Um, we've got some good pants that are pretty darn accurate. And the boots, I don't know if they're completely accurate. But they're close enough for me. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to get to the part of the video where I go over the articulation. So the head sculpt goes front goes uh looks forwards quite a bit but doesn't look backwards all that well besides the ab crunch which is okay um it's got <clears throat> um bicep swivel it's got shoulders um spin and goes up this far and then we've got single jointed elbows um then the hands are hinged and they also spin. Um, the waist moves all the way around. And then he is on ball joints. So the legs move really good. Um, this is how far he can kick forward. And then backward he can't do much because of the butt flap um double jointed knees which feel really smooth i, I really like it it's probably just because it's a newer figure oh i forgot to mention that it has thigh cut meaning the thigh can move um it's got boot cut 
or the boot can move all the way around the figure. Um, it can go forward and backward on the ankle pretty well. It's got okay ankle pivot. Um, I really like these um, designs in the pants. The this, which is actually sculpted on. I, I, I would have liked the uh, belt to be sculpted on too, but it's not. It's just painted on. But uh, I forgot to mention this part. Um, the interchangeability, which is just the hands. We have the throne sitting hands, I guess, or slapping hands, and then we have the mic holding hands. Um, yeah. Um, I guess we can keep in the mic holding hands, because I like those better. And then he comes with um, his lantern. That I think I'm going to uh, repaint eventually because it doesn't look quite accurate. Probably because um, they had to make it slightly child friend friendly. Let's see how well it fits in his hand. Ouch. Fits pretty good. Um, obviously we haven't had an Elite The Fiend yet, before this figure, this was the first Fiend figure, and I don't have an Elite Bray Wyatt figure, unfortunately, so you know what, let's just go with, I don't know, Undertaker. Um, I don't know. So that'll be it for this video guys, thank you all for watching, make sure to slap like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and before I leave, gotta say, the next video is not gonna be another figure review, I'll give you just a little sneak peek of it, so you can get an idea of what it is, just that. So as I said, thank you all for watching. Make sure to slap like and subscribe, and I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you.